In this video, I will review printing color separations. I will show you how to manage some of the settings inside CorelDRAW to help you feel more confident that when you hit print, you will get exactly what you want in your output. In some printing processes that use spot colors, like screen printing, you need to isolate each color into individual color areas so they can be printed on the same plate or screen, which is called a separation. Think of it like a coloring book, and each color crayon you color with or use from the spot color palette is a separation. They are labeled with a name so you know exactly which separation you are printing. When printing screen printed separations, I like to add my own custom registration marks on the page so I can control where they are on my output. If you use registration color for these marks, it will show up on each separation without having to change the color. This color is good for job names and for the registration marks to keep them consistent on all films and screens. Let me show you where that color is inside Corel. Let's select our registration mark and come down to the outline pen settings, double click, select the color drop down, and then select the color drop down inside of here, and there's registration color. It even tells you apply this color to objects used for registration. Close with the X, click OK. And this color is automatically added to our document palette. And if you'd like to, you can add it to any custom palette you create by just dragging it to the palette and letting go. Then you'll have it handy anytime you need it. Sometimes screen printer separations need a trapping or base color for printing. I like to use another page for these modified versions of the artwork. So for example, in this file, I created a page two by clicking the plus icon down here, or you can also go to layout insert page to create another page. And here I place my artwork that where the white will be printed from. And what I also like to do is I also like to rename that page by right clicking and choosing rename to name the page the color I'm going to be printing. When printing separation, only the active page is usually being printed. So to make sure we only print the active page, we need to modify a setting inside the Corel Draw options to help us. So let's go to Tools, Options, Global, and I click over here on the printing area, and let's turn on print only the current page and click OK. With this setting, you are less likely to waste films, screens, or paper. Our job is ready to print, so we can come up and hit the print icon, or we can go to file and choose print. The first thing we need to do is to pick what printer we're using, but today I'm going to choose device independent postscript file to be able to show you the options since I don't have a postscript printer connected. So now, the, the best button that I love in this window that will save your life on a few occasions is these little black arrows right here that a lot of people probably don't know about. What this does is opens a truly interactive print preview window. So as we make changes in our tabs, they'll, it'll show up in here of what the changes you're making. So now let's review each of the tabs to set our settings. The first thing we're going to look at on the general tab is we're going to make sure that current page is selected like that option we set. So our current page is selected. Next, let's go to the color tab. And in this tab, turn on separations. And let's look at the separations tab. We're going to come back to this in a minute, but here's our separations tab. And next on the layout tab, uh, right now it's set to as in document, but if you need to adjust these settings or set some imposition, this is where you set those settings. Next on the prepress tab, uh, usually most of these settings I turn off. If you know what you need to use these for and need to turn on some scales or things like that, just turn those on for you, but I'm going to turn them off. A common one used in screen printing would be to mirror the art on the when it prints. I forgot these two down here. And the next tab is the postscript tab. And as, you, as we are going through these tabs, you'll see in the pre-flight tab, which is at the end, you'll see the issue numbers are going down or changing based on our settings we're setting. So if you need to adjust any postscript settings or to switch to postscript level three, that's under the postscripts tab. And now if we look in the pre-flight tab, it'll tell us if there's any issues, which right now it's saying two or more uh, color separations are printing at the same angle, several spots. That's because we haven't finished up in the uh, separations tab. So let's go back to the separations tab. And now you can literally see how, when I say it's interactive, if you come over here, it literally, if you scroll through and click these things, it will show you every separation in your document and a real literal print preview. If you need a larger view, you can come into the big print preview by clicking the print preview button and you have an enlarged view. And here you can zoom and see the actual uh, more details up close. To exit the print preview, click this button. 
And while you're in here, we may want to hit apply at some point so it remembers the settings. If you have to cancel and go back out to where you realize you uh, have something, an issue with your artwork, uh, make sure you hit apply so that all the settings will stick and when you come back in, you'll uh, pick up where you left off. When you're ready to print an isolated separation, you can uncheck the ones you don't want and it will show you the exact separation you're printing. On our blue, we have some tints here of the shades of gray, meaning there's tints of this solid blue. So in order to get tints to print, we have to go into the advanced options by clicking the advanced button. And what we're gonna set is we're gonna set some halftone settings and we're gonna set this to be 30, which is a commonly used halftone dot size. Yeah, they're 30 dots per inch. Some types of screen printing require angles be set. You can set those here. But we also want to set our dot, so we're going to come down to the halftone settings and choose dot because that's a very common setting to use to print halftones. And if we click OK, you don't see anything change because that won't show up until you actually do the output. But now our file is ready to print the blue. My bonus tip for you is when you print separations, you can use the separations window to make sure you audit your colors correctly. So like, for example, in my job, I realized here I have a wrong black, either a CMYK or RGB black floating around in my document that doesn't need to be there. I should have all my spot separations. So in order to find that, we can just click on that separation and see where the object is that doesn't belong because we have all our registration marks but that doesn't look like part of my artwork so we can hit cancel now we're back in our artwork we can come out here and go into wireframe and easily find the object delete it and go back out of wireframe now if we go back into print and go to the separations tab now my separations are nice and clean and tidy and I know my artwork will be correct thank you for watching if you're watching this video on YouTube You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and the exercise file to follow along. You'll also find other helpful tutorials on CorelDRAW.